because I wasn't here for the whole conversation about the art how they did it. Do we know who owned it? And yeah, we have the file and we'd be happy to share it. So let me give you the history of that. Former Councilman Danny Savage had set aside $500,000 at one point to purchase the building. Uh, the building was appraised, the appraisal came in at like $300,000, $320 something. The, we can't legally, from the city's perspective, buy something for more than the appraised value. The owner turned it down. So we did not buy it. The gentleman who, who owns it now, because in the beginning, we went through a couple of different versions of who actually owned it. Initially, he wanted to do an adult club. And he came into the office and he met with us. And leading us to say, we say, you're crazy. Don't go there. Um, this is the way he's kind of skirting, because you have a big building that has limited types of usages. Um, so this idea of these parties, he rents it out to someone. Um, and what we have to find out is legally if the zoning allows him to, to rent it, you know, for these cabarets, bring your own booze, or all these other parties. Um, so we, we will follow up. Bertie is someone, Dominic Bertie, who's in charge of the business um, nuisance unit, is someone that works very closely with our office. We'll follow up with it now that we're aware of the different parties that are going on. So it's not going to uh, be that um, art theater? No, he, he as, as Pete mentioned, he leveled out the floor. I mean, he was going to put an adult place there. It was going to be a bar, adult, male place. That's when he bought it, it was with that intent. Did Mr. McCarthy 